spend some time working on his color wheel and mixing colors and learning about the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary colors and how to make all the different colors you want to make. We're going to start our drawing for our painting project where we'll be using these paints. So we're going to be inspired by an artist named Sonia Delaunay. She was born in Russia in 1885, and she spent most of her time working in Paris, and she lived until 1979. She is the first female artist that had her own exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, so that's a pretty big deal. She used, as you can see, shapes. She really liked using shapes and flat, areas and designs and then she colored them in with different colors. So we're going to start today by using um, shapes and you guys can draw your own shapes or you can use rulers or stencils or shapes to trace in order to make your design however you would like to. Just have some fun with it. Just use the shapes that you like to use and what I want you to do is we're going to start in our, in our journals first, our sketchbooks first to do some practice sketches then we'll go on our good on our good paper. But let's get started doing some practice sketches together. Let's get started. So to make my Sonia Delaunay uh, picture, I got some geometric shapes to use. I've got a circle I can trace, rectangle, square, triangle, a ruler. Uh, you can use anything to trace, or like I said, you guys can just free draw it also. Um, I really do love circles, so I might start by tracing my circle a little bit. And remember, as you trace something, you hold it still with one hand, and then you can just trace around it with the other. You guys might want to do some practice sketches in your sketchbooks first. I'm just getting started on the big paper here. I'm going to overlap my circle and sort of see what happens. I definitely would recommend doing some sketching first in your sketchbook. I'm just going to go around, play around with my circle. I might use my ruler a little bit to get some lines. Sort of go in with some different designs. Um, hopefully I like this since I did not do my practice sketch first. Just sort of seeing where this takes me. I might just stick with my circles and my other lines, no, I think I'll do triangle up here. I don't know, I'm gonna play around a little bit with this. You guys don't need to watch me do it. You guys can go on your own. You can look around, those of you at home, you can find some shapes at home to trace. Those of you in school, you can find some shapes at school in your art bag to trace. Or you can just draw your own, your own, your own lines and shapes. The thing you wanna remember is that you're gonna be painting these. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful about making lines and shapes that make clear shapes. So that when you do need to paint inside of here, you're gonna be able to tell where your shape begins and where your shape ends. See, I might go in now and just have some fun adding some of my own lines, just free drawing in here. But I'm making sure that my lines are all connected to other lines so that I'm making shapes. So then when it's time to paint that shape, I can find the shape. If I just have a line in the middle there, that's not making an enclosed area for me to paint. So I wanna make sure that that is connected from one line to another line. So you guys just have some fun, do some practice sketching, think about some of the entangles or doodling that you've done. You might wanna use some of those to start if you have a design that you've created that you like, um, have some fun with it. You might also decide after you do your drawing that you wanna turn it a different direction. That's the fun thing with abstract art is that we can play around with it and make some change. It doesn't have to look like anything other than the shapes and the colors and the lines that we use. Have some fun and then um, next week we'll start painting. Alrighty, send me some pictures, those of you at home.